Okay, we are back, and today I'm going to be doing a blind reaction to all of the transformation sequences in the Common Rider series, uh, in addition to doing all of the uh, finishing moves for the Heisei era, because uh, that's just what's in the video uh, that people link to me. Um, so shout out to uh, Bali no Gamer and uh, Brilliant Keiseru uh, in the comments for linking me to these videos. Uh, let me know what you want me to react to in the comments below, as always. Uh, when you're doing that, if you have like a playlist or a video in mind that you think would be good or doesn't skip stuff, uh, just leave it down there. Uh, it helps me out. It's kind of a pain to have to um, try and find the videos. Not because that's hard, but because in order to verify that the video is good and has everything, I have to like kind of watch a little bit of it, which makes me not go in as blind as I would like. So it's just useful if, uh, if you happen to know. Um, but you don't have to do that to leave a recommendation feel free to leave a recommendation without it uh but anyway uh i've already uploaded my video for reacting to all of the common rider openings so be sure to check that out if that's a thing you're interested in uh consider liking subscribing uh and yeah as far as uh expectations for this go um i don't know you know how these go they start off i'm actually really curious how the transformations are going to look in like the early series in the 70s uh, before they had digital effects. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to pull that off. I think it's going to look pretty cheesy for a while. Uh, then they'll get a little bit innovative with it. And then uh, similar to the trend of the openings in the early digital digital era is going to look very bad. Uh, and then it's going to look really awesome by uh, the time we get to like 2020, 2021, 2022. So uh, those are my predictions, but uh, anyway, I've been talking too long up front. Uh, let's get into it. Oh, um, this video, this first one, uploaded by Merrick Studio. Uh, they have a little intro at the beginning that I'm skipping here, but they did upload it, and so uh, shout out to them. Uh, let's go. Okay. That was the first one. Hmm. Okay, so, sorry, it was taking me a little while for my brain to, like, register what I was looking at. So, I guess there are various slightly different uh, forms of transformation, so this video is just going to be showing each of them back-to-back. -back. So, I guess the first Common Rider had three different ones. Um, they look pretty similar to me. Um, it's a cool little... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, motorized effect with the spinning rainbow wheel. Um, so spinning rainbow wheel, then they have like some animated rainbow colors coming out of that wheel on top, um, which is like pretty cool. I guess they're going to be using just like traditional animation to do effects uh, for these early ones, uh, pre-digital age, which is, uh, I guess that makes intuitive sense. So that wheel spins, he jumps up into the air, and then when he jumps up, he's just suddenly in the costume. Again, not going to be able to do anything too elaborate in 1970. I understand that. Uh, but yeah, okay. So I guess we're going to be seeing multiple for each of these. Um, okay. Alright, he does a pose. No, okay. No, okay, okay. That's more of what you think of, like, as a, a transformation sequence, I think. Mm. Okay, that one was more just like teleporting into it. Um, okay, so that that pose, I guess, uh, I don't know if all of them are going to be doing that, but uh, I played Beautiful Joe way back in the day. When Beautiful Joe came out on the GameCube, that was my favorite game of all time, um, if I remember correctly. That was a long time ago. But I remember Beautiful Joe does that pose. Um, so I guess that was a direct... Uh, reference to uh common writer i mean obviously beautiful show beautiful joe is uh, a parody of like sentai and uh tokusatsu films and whatnot but i think that aspect was directly ripped from common writer or maybe all of these shows do that i guess i'll see as i watch more transformation sequences but um 
yeah, this time you could actually see more of what I would consider like the type of transformation scene I'm familiar with. Uh, they like zoom in on his hands and then they show like the glove appear, his mask and whatnot. Whereas in the first one, it, it just kind of it was not on him, and then suddenly the suit was on him when he jumped into the air. So we're getting a little bit more uh, advanced, a little bit more detailed as we're moving along, even now. The pose. Okay, again, just kind of teleporting the suit on. That's fine. We're in V3. I will say for the the second rider, uh, there was a really cool animation where they had like a, a light like coming out of his belt, and it kind of like enveloped his like arms and legs, and then they like did the teleporting of the the suit over his various body parts. I like that. I am kind of disappointed that they haven't done that since that one time. I mean, I'm sure it's coming back later, but um, you know, Kenshin. <laughs> the poses are so goofy. That's a nice suit. The suit that man had on, his business suit, nicer than the common rider suit, I have to say. Oh yeah, I didn't really like the way the suit looked like. Henshin, uh, Beautiful Joe would always say, Henshin a go-go, baby! Why do I remember that? It's been so long since I played that game. So again, I don't know, I guess probably all the Sentai people say, like, Henshin, but, uh... I wonder why they didn't translate that for Beautiful Joe. Uh, they didn't have him say Transform in the English version, they kept Henshin a go-go. That's, uh, interesting. Anyway. Oh, Amazon. I remember not liking this costume. That one's so weird. It's like an eldritch monster coming into formation. That one was almost kind of horror themed. It's like the music kind of goes away and you just hear his echoing scream in this infinite black void Zon! Zon! as like you can see copies and iterations of himself in the background uh, and then like they all transform and then kind of reduce to one um, in addition to his costume also just being a little bit weird in the first place that one was a uh, I don't know that one feels like you're watching a different show but uh, I would say like Kind of the most impressive looking one I've seen so far, so that's that's something. S. Henshin. That's a nice suit. I like that one. Charge up. Ah, uh, man. I don't think I like that spinning S. I think the spinning S is a little bit too goofy for even, even me. Oh, they have like the after image as he's moving. Okay. Skyrider! I don't know how I feel about that one. Looks like he's like serving tea. Oh, he's doing a Kamehameha, doing a little Hadouken. Oh! That was a nice little effect. Let me go back, watch that again. I like the little sparkles there. I like glitter. I like lights. Okay. Super one. So. 
Mm. By far the ones where they just kind of teleport the suit on is those are the most disappointing to me. I like it when I can see like the the transformation. If you can remember uh, the first time when you were like a kid or perhaps you were an adult, depending on how old you were, I guess, uh, you saw that Sailor Moon transformation sequence on television. Um, that stuff's really mind blowing, right? Because it's so pretty. There are so many like pastel, uh, pastel flashing lights and colors. It looks gorgeous. And it's so intricate too, um, because they're going to reuse that animation every single episode. Uh, they just need to make it look immaculate one time. And they really did make it look immaculate that one time. Um, and I, I don't know, it's just like gorgeous to look at and you're happy to see it every single episode. And in comparison to something like that, a lot of these kind of underwhelming. Um, anyway, it's just when the suit teleports on, you know. I want to see it come on, ideally. That's a cool looking belt. Nice little 80s, 80s tech design there. Okay, that was nice, look at that. See, this is what I'm asking for. Oh, and it has the steam coming off of it? That's actually really cool. <laughs> There's like steam and smoke coming off of it, especially when like it's the lights that kind of just like flash it on. It looks like it came on with like heat, you know, it's like he's radiating power. There was so much energy it took to manifest that suit into existence. That's that's pretty lit. I look at the music for this one. That man has a really nice white jacket, too, by the way. Like, I would rock that fit if I thought I could. That suit looks good. Now they're just teleporting suit on, but, you know. It's a cool song going on in the background. Okay, now, that looks pretty cool. His second transformation looks cool, with like the, the lights going over his uh, initial suit. I don't like that suit so much, but, you know, still a nice song. Black RX. Black RX, the suit he's transforming into, reminds me of uh, the Kiter a little bit. If anyone remembers Kiter. They say I have that on Toonami. I like the poses. Hold up, let's let's look at those poses just a little bit more. <laughs> that was uh, it went on longer than I thought it would. The sound effect every time he moves his body, the that's awesome. And then he does like the claw thing, bro. Okay, really hate the way that costume just looked. Oh my god. Mm, man! The little animatronics they have going on there. That was a one of the more technically impressive ones I've seen, I guess. I just hate that I am repulsed by the way that thing looked. It's just personal taste. I'm not saying it's bad, but, you know. Not the kind of thing I care for. It looked too organic, gross. It had, like, mucus coming off of it. They knew what they were doing. Just kind of teleported on there. That's fine. That's, uh, that's something. Common Rider J. And she... J. Oh, you mix the J. <laughs> I love when they get really goofy. I will say, out of all of the little hand movements they've done so far, I just like the standard basic one when he's like, uh, hit, shing. That's that's my favorite. Um, uh, but the the J is probably a close second. I I appreciate that.
I'm in the right off. What the fuck? Okay, that was nice. Look at the lights on that one. I uh, materialized. This looks like it's for a movie. Was that for a TV show or? All right. So that was that was it for the uh, the Showa era. Um, again, probably we're gonna look a little bit more visually impressive here as we move into the the Heisei era. Though, again, I am expecting these first few Heisei era ones to look like uh, garbage, like trash, because uh, digital effects around this time. Um, just look like garbage and like trash. So um, that's what I'm expecting to see here. But uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on with the uh, Kuga. I think is the the first uh, Heisei era one. Oh, I will say up front. Um, so this video, the title um, says that the title is Primary Common Riders Base Forms All Henshin and Finisher. Uh, HD 60 FPS. So uh, this video is going to have all of their finishers as well. So okay, cool. Um, but uh, it's also at 60 FPS. I am uh, basically 100% sure none of this was broadcast at 60 FPS. Um, so that means they're going to be doing some weird like digital interpolation stuff. Uh, I haven't seen this video, so I don't know what it looks like. But I assume it looks like garbage, uh, just because I don't like the 60 FPS interpolation. So um, it's possible that my enjoyment of this may be a little bit uh, lessened just uh, on that basis. But uh, we'll we'll see. Oh my goodness, that did not look good. That transformation looked like garbage. Hey, I mean, that's what I thought would happen. I can't say I'm surprised, but I don't know. I thought it would look bad in a different way. I didn't expect it to look bad like that, but hey, that's that's fine. Wow, okay, no, look. Again, trash effect. I don't, look, whatever. It just, I understand they were doing what they could with what they could. But, again, if you compare this to, like, the special effects work you see in, like, the early era, uh, eras of, like, Super Sentai, not that I've, like, seen those shows, but just basing it on the opening, they had some, like, really stellar, like, explosion effect work. Um, and this is just so, so far beyond. Like, you know, I don't know. At least in 2022, uh, a high schooler could do that. I don't, I'm trying not to trash on it too hard because uh, you know it's difficult to transition to production with the entire new technology um there's no reason it would look good but that explosion just 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 not good i may struggle through these <laughs> through these first one guys i uh these first like five or six in the uh the heisei era are not going to be easy for me I like the light, the light on his belt. Though in this shot, it just kind of looks like a flashlight a little bit. Oh, and then he's just in the suit. Okay. Out of the ones where the suit just magically appears out of nowhere, um, that was my favorite one. That was a cool way to do that. If that's what you're going to do. Right up, The way they had him sliding backwards, that, that looked pretty cool. It's a good song. Wait, the kick made him explode? Yo, okay. 
No, but that's what I'm talking about. They can still do the practical explosions. They know that looks better. I don't know why they were doing that lame explosion earlier on. Um, yeah, because that's, that's, that's so much more satisfying. Okay, they still, they still got it. It's a nice looking suit, by the way. It's a very pretty looking man. Are we into the trading card era? Nah, fam. Nah, this ain't it, fam. This ain't it. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Sword Vent. It's a dual disc. I like this song. Final vent. Final event. Nah. Nah, the CG looks too lame for me, fam. I can't, I can't do it. They had, like, a really good song for that, and they had, like, good pacing, but the CG is just too bad. Now, look, this is just my opinion. All you uh, viewers out there, if you disagree with me, that's fine. If you like the way this looks... I'm not trying to change your mind, but, you know, as far as me and my blind reaction to this goes, I just can't get over that. That does not look, uh, does not look okay to me. Uh, very distracting. Has not aged well. The top of his briefcase had a little man <laughs> posing like he was like he was transforming. That's that's a very cute little detail. I like that. That 2004 cell phone. All right. Machine. No one in the Heisei era has done the. When are we gonna get a Heisei? No, this, that was a nice pose. Can we get our right uh, kick? Oh, he's doing a double kick. I mean, look, obviously that still looks bad, but it is getting better. First mode. It's so interesting. I guess we're... Is this before cameras were being built into phones? Because I had, like, flip phones that had cameras in them. But yeah, I guess there was a period of time 
where we had flip phones and they didn't have cameras in them. Um, it's interesting that he has like a separate camera device from his phone. Um, it's also obviously cool that he just turned uh, his little phone transformation device into a gun that he used to merc this man. Uh, anyway. Exceed charge. I'll definitely say it looks a lot cooler when he's fighting a monster that's like a man in like some suit um, as opposed to the monster being just like some digital thing that's not really there that definitely always looks better in my opinion so far anyway exceed charge Okay. He's from a gun! Man has his whole deck spilling out. I thought he was flipping him off for just half a second. Kinshin! That's pretty cool. This transformation's like kind of an attack as well. Or is it gonna come back and like envelop him? That could be really cool. Did he like run through it and then he just transformed? I'm into that actually. That's that's pretty sweet. That's a nice looking suit. I really like that one. Peek. That was pretty cool. That was a cool, ah, oh, yeah, a nice little practical explosion over there. Dog, they really made an entire ditch for that explosion. I assume they dug this ditch and then like, or maybe, I don't know, let me go back and watch that again. Oh no, yeah, they made the ditch with the explosion. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if this is real snow, if this is just like fake. That's a lot of fake snow, if that's what it is. Um, video is kind of too low, low quality for me to tell. But yeah, that's cool. I always love seeing a real explosion. That looked awesome. The kick looked pretty cool as well. Um, best looking uh, kick I've seen so far, in my opinion. Another awesome song in the background. He just absorbed him with his trading card? Okay. Cheku. Oh, he can summon attacks based on, like, or abilities based on enemies he's defeated before? So I, I take it this is like some card capture Sakura like stuff where he like goes around defeating monsters and then turns them into like cloud cards and can summon their abilities at will to help him in his uh, magical quest, whatever that may be. Uh, let me go back and look at that little explosion there because that was a nice one. Yeah. Oh, that was, was that real? If that was a digital effect, that looked really good. I'm pretty sure that was real. They just had it, the explosion is uh, in the foreground where the, the monster, the guy in the suit's like a little bit behind it. See, I don't know why they don't do that just all the time. Um, well, you know, they wanted to experiment with the digital stuff. I understand that.
Yeah, that looks... Yeah, that's definitely... Those are real sparks. Yeah, that just looks really cool. Yeah, that's great. But the, I thought that was a kunai, but it's a tuning fork. This is a finishing move? Okay, so for that last one, like... The, the video quality on that one was like a little bit lower than it had been on the other one so I was having a difficult time like processing what my brain was seeing in the first place um, and then by the time I like got my bearings and understood what I was looking at I, I just saw like a man on top of a giant spider just like beating it like it was a drum playing the spider like a musical instrument uh, and then it explodes so uh, I'm sure that makes sense in the context of the episode but uh, uh, yeah I'm I don't know what to say about that I like the way that beetle looks. The chosen one. Orida, omae wa ima. Henshin. That was a satisfying transformation. You know, you get to see the suit materialize around him, and the effects look, like, acceptable for that. They didn't look good or great, but they were perfectly acceptable. I have no complaints. That was, uh, that was fine. That looks awesome. When the suit itself has the ability to like move a little bit, that always looks really cool. Kind of looks like an astronaut suit. Oh, that's awesome. The way that kind of like lifted up, dog. That was sweet. That was my favorite. <laughs> that was my favorite transformation. Oh, and the guy's just floating in the air in the background because he's going so fast. <laughs> the line seems pretty sick, actually. Nah, that was the coolest scene. That was the coolest scene out of all of them. That was really cool. That was great. 
Actually, you know, I think I remember um, way back in the day, I was on some forum where uh, I think uh, Tokusatsu stuff was popular. I wasn't into it, really. But I remember people posting GIFs and clips of, I think, this season. Because I remember seeing a lot of people hype about scenes of, uh, I guess it was Kamen Rider, uh, like, moving at super speed and doing stuff like in this clip. Um, so, yeah, I think I was like tangentially aware of this this season as it was airing but uh i wasn't like watching it or anything dog okay that was the coolest looking kick too that one had like it looked like it had power and force behind it um Just, <laughs> yeah, all right. The fake digital explosions are looking a lot better now, too. One thing that helps them look a lot better is that they're, like, using real smoke. Um, so, like, half of the explosion isn't actually fake, because, like, the, the smoke is actually there. So that makes it a lot more convincing. But also, like, just the quality of the digital effect is getting uh, higher as we go along as well. Henshin? <laughs> what does this shirt say? Conquered? Why don't you transform, lady? I like this guy. Don't make him fight. We must protect him. That was pretty cool. In fact, could have looked a little bit better, but that was that was fine. Ore. Wait, does he become a lot more confident when he transforms? This man's entire voice changed. He came two octaves deeper. He has like some spy music in the background. This man has a lot of '70s music in his in his show. Portal 2. We're gonna get Jonathan Joestar up in here? I guess Joseph. Oh, that was pretty cool. He's like controlling the blade. Oh, sick looking explosion. I Let me watch that again. He's trying to make a little JoJo's joke. Got a little distracted. That was awesome. Then he brings it down. Dog, okay. That was really cool. That legitimately was pretty cool. <laughs> then he does his little laugh. Uh, does this guy become, like, possessed? It seems like he's not himself once he transforms. Like, the ghost, the spirit of the cool common Rider overtakes him. Um, I don't know. That's what it seems like to me. Uh, that looks kind of like trash. Oh, is he vampire themed? <laughs> he transforms by being bitten. I respect the idea a lot. I think that's creative. I like it. Ikaze! I remember the vampire season from the uh, the openings. That's so cheesy. I love that. That was really cool. He jumps super far into the air. He's like in front of a full moon, which he appears to have just materialized <laughs> through his his like sheer willpower or awesomeness or I don't know, common rider magic, whatever is going on. Because uh, it 
was daytime a few seconds prior to that, I believe. But he jumps in front of the, the moon that he materializes. Uh, then he, like, starts to do his kick. And then we zoom way out. Um, just so that we can see him accelerate towards the camera super fast. And then when he comes into contact with the, uh, the villain to do his kick, uh, he doesn't, like, immediately bounce off. He, like, stays in contact with him and, like, pushes him 20 feet across the ground. That was, uh... That was also pretty cool. All of these are getting pretty cool now. They were, uh, they looked really bad earlier on, but they, uh, they're really getting it down. Um, I guess that's what I thought was going to happen, but, uh, let's, let's run that back. Yeah! And then he forms an indentation in the in the wall, uh, in the shape of a bat, which is corny, corny as hell, cheesy as hell. Uh, but how how can you how can you hate on it? Truly, um, there's nothing to hate on, friends. Uh, I take it back. You can definitely hate on the way that awful looking dragon looks. <laughs> that is not good. Truly a very mixed bag, these scenes. I have uh, a lot of differing opinions from moment to moment. Oh, the moon's gone. This man can make it nighttime. See, it looks cool when you see it up close. That doesn't look that bad. No, it still looks kind of bad. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, I just noticed that was... Uh, well, never mind. Doesn't matter. Decade! This theme song is pretty lit. Do you hear that? That's a cool looking suit too. That was a great song. Finally Ataku! Decade! Oh, it's like a warp gate, everyone he goes through, like, accelerates him. The explosion could look better. I think that one's purely digital. Philippe. I don't know, this is the one that really looks like Kakaider. I said one of them earlier reminded me of Kakaider. Uh, no, this looks exactly like Kakaider. It's like the color scheme is a little bit different. Oh, come on. Alright, putting aside how that looked, I do appreciate, I don't know, I should rewatch Kakaider, or at least some of it. Um, I wonder what building this is. Is this filmed in Tokyo? This building looks really cool. Is that like a sports stadium? I wish I could see more of whatever building that is. Joker! Is that the name of the season? Kamen Rider Joker? Joker? Oh, 
I wonder how they made that hand do that. That looked really good. That looked very convincing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that was cute. I don't understand it, but that was cute. Let me... Okay. Scanning charge. Oh, he's got those uh, Oscar Pistorius legs. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care for the way this looks. Just a very uneven quality of these things. Some of them look pretty darn good, and some of them just, just don't. Wait, did he cut the building in half, and then he, like, decided, wait, no, I regret doing collateral damage, and then he just fixed it? How did he fix it? I guess that's the issue with me not knowing the context of any of these things, or how anyone's powers work, so I guess he has the ability to do that somehow. Oh, it's Fours! Fours had the really cool-looking suit. Oh yeah, you can see it in the corner there. That's a really good villain suit, by the way. Oh yeah, this is the one that's in, like, Space High School. It's like My Hero Academia. Yeah! Sorry, sometimes these things go by so quickly that my brain doesn't, like, even register them. So I, I've been going back and, like, replaying clips a lot. That may be frustrating to you as a, as a watcher, possibly, but, you know. It's a sign that there was something interesting happening. Okay. That's still gotta be one of my favorite looking suits. Definitely still basically my favorite favorite looking suit. I don't know. It's in the top like three or four for sure. Fours is fours is good. on. <laughs> The idea for that where he has like a drill on his foot and he like propels himself um i mean normally they're being propelled through like some kind of implied power the rider has like it's not really specified i mean there are a couple of times where they use like those warp gate things and so you can say that's what's accelerating them but here it's uh it's very explicit what's propelling them because he has like a rocket on his arm to propel his drill foot that's cool um it didn't like look the best but it looks good enough the idea itself is like cool and solid enough to uh to hold that together i think Nope! What is, the, what is this song? Hold up! This man's doing scat. Why did his belt just start screaming scat?
ショータイムだ Have I just not been paying attention? Because I feel like the hero like turning away from the villains and then them exploding um, behind them is like kind of a staple for these types of shows. But I don't remember seeing that um, so far. Maybe I just forgot. But I think this is maybe the first time you've seen that particular trope show up. Um, if not, then I don't know. Let me know. But uh, yeah, it's weird. If I'm right about that, then it's weird that it's taken until... I don't know what year this season came out, but probably post 2010 to to see that in the finishers. Now, that didn't look good, but it looked way better than it would have uh, had they done that earlier on. Because um, he was standing on top of, like, a CG dragon using, like, this uh, weird magic attack with a sword, uh, striking another CG dragon as they, like, clash two, three, ten thousand feet in the air. Uh, that should have looked really terrible, and it looked, like, barely acceptable. So, you know, that's... That's uh that's an improvement. That was ambitious and uh they they made it work kind of, so good good on them. <laughs> I do like that. The motorcycle coming out of the like uh the portal, the Doctor Strange little portal. That's cool. Hmm. What? Oh, that's kind of fire. Hold up. That was clean. Let me run that one back real fast. That was kind of clean. You can see the orange inside of his little visor. That's a nice detail. His the inside of his visor it looks like a it's a little orange slice. Gonna run that back one more time. Yeah, it does. It looks like a little orange slice in there. Oh, and his sword is, is like a little orange slice, too. little orange slice sword, a little orange slice advisor. That's cute. That's real cute. Mm. See, that stuff looks pretty good, actually. Even that fake-ass explosion did not look bad. That looked pretty good! Okay. I saw, like, a little transforming toy car.
a lot of the transformation sequences lately have been like so quick that uh, you can't really appreciate them. Um, but that one, it's like it's not a long transformation sequence, but it's just like it's just long enough that you can uh, you can see the things like forming around him and see them moving into place, and then the light flashes, and then he's like he's in it. It's a uh, I don't know. I think that's a good pace. I do wonder why he has a, a car instead of a motorcycle. I, I do remember seeing this car in the uh, the openings as well, and I was a little bit confused about that then. Uh, but yeah. The sick-looking suit! I know that! Oh, that's right. It was a sick-looking suit until we see the tire. The tire actually does not look bad, though. Um, yeah, you know, it's still pretty, pretty good-looking, I guess. I love the LEDs in his little belt, though. That looks awesome. Ah, and the LEDs in the mask, that looks so sick. Alright, never mind. This one's awesome. Definitely top three suit right here. Spit, spit, speed! Oh, and this song is awesome too. Dog, that's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. No, even that's really cool. Dog, that was awesome. He can change the tire. All right, this looks this looks kind of lame. That looks awesome though. When he's like breaking and the sparks are coming out. There we go. Again, we have a uh, hero facing away from the villain as he explodes. Uh, you know, like eighty percent of that looked quite nice. I have to say, I really like. First off, his suit looks amazing. Um, really love the LEDs on the belt and in the eyes. Uh, and then the effects when he's, like, driving himself on the ground, and he has to, like, brake or propel forward, and there are, like, sparks coming off of him. That looks really nice. Very nice effects there. Um, yeah, and then when he was attacking him, he, like, kicks him into the air, and then he's doing, like, these high-speed auto, 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 JoJo-style punches. Um, and yeah, that looked really cool, too. Uh, and then it's just at the end when he's, like, having the card, like, drive around in circles. That looks really, uh, really lame. But, you know, most of that was really great. It's a cool looking suit. I think I just like all of these really modern looking suits. All the suits from like the last seven years I think just look really great to me. Those were good effects too. I'll say that video was like a little bit lower quality, so it was like slightly hard for me to make out exactly what was going on, but uh, the effects, as far as I could tell, looked pretty good, and I love the way that suit looked, so yeah, that was, that was good. Oh, by the way, let me know if it's difficult to hear me in the comments. My mic says that the audio is being maxed out. Um, but I can probably just lower the volume of the um, of the video if that's necessary. Um, so yeah, just let me know if that's bothering anyone. Oh yeah, this one. I remember this one. This one looks weird. Yeah, this one. Oh, it looks even weirder now because he messed up the transformation. 
reminds me of when uh, Trunks and Goten like mess up their transformation and they have to they become uh, like fat Gotenks or old Gotenks or something. Uh, the fact that this one is going for like, at least in this scene, I don't know about overall, but in this scene they're going for like a video game-esque aesthetic. Um, so even though none of this looks like convincing or believable, um, even the grass is just fake or looks fake. Uh, but that's like fine, it works in their favor in this context because uh, it works on like the level of the, the theme. Um, That poor child. Oh, his chest is like a little uh, video game controller, like a Super Nintendo controller. I didn't notice that when I was watching the openings. I respect what they're going for with this one. I can't say it's like my favorite one or anything, but I, I respect what they're going for. I appreciate them trying different things and, you know, trying to do uh, unique things with the franchise. Always, always got to appreciate that. Rabbit? What does rabbit tank mean? Mean? RT rabbit tank. Okay. The way that materialized looked pretty clean, actually. I let's let's run that back for a second. Run it back a little bit further than this one. There we go. Mm. Oh, that looked pretty good. That was cool. And then. It comes together like that that's awesome that one feels super creative i really like that one also this is the third time i've said this so i like i don't know maybe i'll be i don't know surprised in the future yet again but uh this one this is the one that truly looks like kakaiter i said two other ones reminded me of um kakaiter from uh Tanami way back not to, not Tanami. it was on adult swim way back in the day but this one really looks like kakaiter uh, look up Kakaiter and tell me if I'm wrong. Actually, I haven't seen that thing in like 15 years, so I probably am wrong. But uh, Kakaiter was done by the same guy. Oh, uh, I believe I may be wrong about this, but was Kamen Rider worked on by the guy who made Cyborg 009? Because I think the guy who made Cyborg 009 also made Kakaiter. Um, which would, yeah, it would make sense that so many of the character designs here look like the Kakaider character designs because they're they're done or inspired by like literally the exact same artist if I'm right about that uh, if I'm wrong about that then sorry light me up in the comments if you want to but uh you don't need to light me up in the comments I'm gonna google it right after I'm done here so I'll already be aware by the time you tell me but um yeah I think I I think I'm right about that also don't take my word for it like look it up yourself <laughs> 
It's an awesome looking suit though. Wow. They showed the motion graph. Like you do an intro an intro of physics class, uh, intro of physics class, physics 101, they showed the plot. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I uh I majored in physics in undergrad, so that's uh I double majored, but that's one thing that I majored in. So that's uh I don't know, appealing to my, my heart in that way. Zo gaze! The male gaze! He is the male gaze. That's like an evil version of Kakaider. All of these look fire. These are all really good. Finish time! What's a little LED display there? It says kick on the bottom of his foot. Nah, fam. Nah, that's disrespectful as hell. As you're diving towards the person and they see their foot, your foot come closer to their face, they have to read the word kick as they're getting smashed in their face. Nah, that's disrespectful as hell. How dare you? Kick! Giddy giddy. Wait, what does his shirt say? Let me, let me go back. Let me, sorry. I'm getting a little bit distracted here, but let me, what did that shirt say? Did that shirt say what I thought it said? Oh no, never mind. I thought that shirt said something different. Did the little background vocalization say a jump to the sky turns to a rider kick? Because somehow, I guess it's kind of cool. That's a kind of cool line to say in kind of like a manner of fact, scientific, explanatory tone, the way that that was delivered. I don't really get why that was chosen, but I guess in general, I don't really understand why they say all of this stuff in English in the first place, other than, uh, I mean, I know it sounds cool. I don't know. If I was naming special attacks, I would probably give them Japanese names, because that would sound cool to me, so I guess that makes sense. I don't know if I'd use just, like, an entire sentence, <laughs> though. That's, a. Uh... There's something to be said about... I'm not, like, a good... I don't know anything about design, obviously. But even when the design of the suit isn't, like, super strong, just, like, the quality of the implementation of the suit is so much higher than you would see in, like, those earlier seasons. I don't know um, what to attribute that to. 
is it like we just have like a higher diversity of materials nowadays um we have like various different color like or quality plastics or something like i don't i don't know why that would why that would be the case um or maybe there's just like like anything just advances in learning how to utilize the already uh, existent materials um to create various effects yeah i don't know i i don't know if someone had like a link to an article about that like because this is true not just for like common writer stuff or sentai stuff this is also true if you look at like american superhero movies or whatever uh the costumes now just look a lot better than they did even in like the early aughts um or the mid aughts which wasn't that long ago uh if you compare, in my opinion, the Spider-Man suit for, like, the, the current movies versus, like, the, the Tobey Maguire one, it's, like, a world of difference. Um, it looks way better. Uh, and, yeah, I'm not exactly sure why that would be the case. Because it, like, obviously isn't a matter, manner, a matter of digital effects. Um, actually, in the case of that Spider-Man suit, it is, because uh, they, like, adjust the Spider-Man eyes to, like, have different exp expressions and stuff. Um, they also do that in, like, the Deadpool movies. So in that limited way, it's a manner of special effects. But even outside of that, I think it's just a better-looking suit. And, yeah, it's not clear to me, like, what advances have been made in the craft of, uh, I don't know, costume design that would make us get better over time. But um, if anyone has an explanation for that, would genuinely be very interested. It sounds like a super cool topic. That one looked pretty cool, I have to say. Okay. Uh, then he sprains his ankle. Alright, the end of that didn't look as good, but you know. Sword driver. I feel like that's the most complete, like, full transformation sequence that I've seen in a long time. I'll say, I don't know if all of them have something like this, and I just didn't see it in these videos, but uh, what I was expecting to see is that uh, every time they did a transformation, it would be reusable footage, so they would, like, be teleported into, like, some weird dimension with, like, some background that has nothing to do with the background they were currently standing in in the episode. Um, so, like, here, he's, like... He has the CGI background behind him with, like, this burning image, and there's, like, a black void and fire and stuff. So they could reuse the sequence in every single episode, no matter uh, when he's transform where he's transforming, because um, this footage would still be applicable, right? Because that's what, like, Sailor Moon does and a bunch of other series. Uh, but I think for the most part, in these most recent videos I've been watching, um, they've, like, really just had the person transforming on the spot, which is... Um, I mean, I'm not complaining about that at all. Um, yeah, not, not at all at all. I'm not, not complaining about that. It's just interesting to me. I would have expected that this would be the norm, that this is what they would do every single time. And they really, they really haven't been doing it that much. A 
book finisher. I don't really understand what the theme is for this. It's it's book themed, like legendary hero themed, maybe. Seems like they're maybe trying to do a King Arthur type thing. I don't really know. Pizza Fantasy. I'm not that into this gimmick, but you know, that's fair. Oh, okay. So we made it to the, the end of that. Um, I believe that was mostly stuff from the Heisei era. I don't know if maybe that last one was in the Reiwa era or not. I don't exactly remember when the Reiwa era started. I know it's like the last few years. But um, so there was one more video that was linked to me. So let me let me go ahead and get to that. I think this is the current ongoing season, I was told. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get into this and then maybe go do some overall thoughts. Okay. Okay. It said he has like a devil living inside of his body or something. It looked like a stand almost. It was like very uh, JoJo esque. It's like a genie. Kenshin! Ah, uh, I haven't seen the... They haven't done that in so long. Can they just do it one more time? Just one more time, please. Yo, the genie has a sick costume. That black and pink look? Okay, uh, people like to hate on uh, Goku Black, but uh, Goku Black has a sick design. Super Saiyan Rose, that is so clean with the black robes. Dog, this is a cl pink and black is an extremely good color scheme. I really, really love that. That is so great. And it's like uh, the top of his uh, suit. Maybe it's just the quality of the video, but it looks almost like a little flowy robe there to me. Nah, now that I look a little bit more closely, that's definitely kind of like a rigid, like hard stiff material but you know that's still cool he has like a lot of them have the scarf because um if i'm right about the cyborg 009 guy um having inspired a lot of this done a lot of early work on this then he was a really big proponent um of like that that scarf in the hero design so that's like a remnant of that and uh yeah having that in like the hot pink on the black costume with the pink highlights everywhere dog that's fire um, and the guy to the, the left, uh, the blue and pink guy, does not look anywhere near as cool, but you know, it's a, that's a fine costume too. That black and pink is so cool. Oh, that was it? Okay. Alright, so that was that was good fun. I enjoyed watching those. You know, it's always interesting to see the development of these things. And obviously Common Rider has been a very influential institution. I've uh reading through the comments, uh, a lot of people left last time really uh kind of um like I knew Common Rider was a big deal, but I think I still maybe uh underestimated just how influential it had been. So it was good to Learn about that and make some connections in my head as I was watching it and, of course, learn from you guys, read some Wikipedia articles afterwards. Uh, so that's always a lot of fun. What I'll say, my expectations going in were, again, that we were going to see some trash digital effects and then they would get better over time. And I was completely right about that. Um, 
from the start of the uh, Heisei era moving forward, uh, things were just very inconsistent. Um, I guess at the beginning of the Heisei era, they were very consistent in that they were consistently really terrible. But, you know, uh, after like three or four seasons, they start getting like good some of the time and still being really bad other times. Um, and then that ratio improves a lot as we're going forward. But even towards the end, you'd have like 80% of a scene look pretty darn great. And then like just the last 20% will look kind of like garbage. So just like very inconsistent, not just from like season to season or from scene to scene, but from second to second, it could be very inconsistent in quality, um, in my opinion, at least. But there is a lot of very cool uh, looking stuff in there for sure. A lot of uh, well-directed scenes with some very, like, uh, unique or nice-looking effects as well. So, definitely interesting to see that. Um, and yeah, I'm sure a lot of people just are like, what is this guy talking about? Because maybe your opinion is, like, the opposite of mine. You thought the stuff that I thought looked bad looked really good, and the stuff that I thought looked good looked like trash. Uh, I can definitely see where there would be a lot of room to disagree with me, but, you know, it's a reaction video, so all I can do is have my own reaction. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna get around to doing the Super Sentai stuff, and the, um, the Super Sentai transformations, and and the uh, Ultraman transformations at some point. Um, I just try, I don't know, like, I don't know how long this video was, maybe like an hour and a half. Um, I don't always have the energy to sit down and like talk or record stuff for an hour and a half, so I just do that when I feel like it. So I'll get around to those at some point. If you have something else you want me to watch, uh, let me know in the comments. As always, uh, consider subscribing, and yeah, I appreciate it comment like engagement stuff channel you know you know the the youtube deal so again appreciate it and uh have a good one guys uh take care